So how is everyone? I hope you're all well. So it would now appear that the the kids, so we call them kids? Yeah, I think we'll call them kids. The kids who attended this party that Kylie had attended on the night that she went missing. And look, I'm still not 100% convinced that this girl attended this party. Now, I've heard that law enforcement have photographs of Kylie at this picture, but what I struggle with is that nobody else has seen any. There was apparently between two and 300 people or 100 and 300 people who attended this party. And we know, look, kids have got their phones in their hands all the time. They would have been taking shots everywhere. But not one picture has really emerged, like I've seen anyway, that categorically confirms that Kylie was at this party. Undisputable. Undisputable. That's her at this party, at this time. Job done. I haven't seen it. And look, if I'm wrong, then I apologise. But I haven't seen it. And for the purpose of not knowing whether I am indeed right or wrong, I'm going with the theory, look, at some point in the evening, she attended this party and look they're saying that all these kids are now not talking because they're scared that there could be implications on their college um even though the legal system has clearly stated look we're not interested in the alcohol we're not inter interested in the drugs we are interested in what happened to this young girl and look law enforcement asks for tips and they can be on an anonymous basis. If someone has a tip that says, look, this is what happened. I was at the party. I do not want to say who I am because of said reasons. But she left the party at this time with this person or a man or a female. But I saw her leave. That could happen. You could go and do that. So this categoric stamping the foot saying i'm not gonna be saying anything i'm not getting involved i'm washing my hands of it you're nothing more than a little prick if you know something and you're just not saying anything for what reason this is what you see with kylie's friends you know the close friends sammy and you know and megs these don't seem to be friends they're interactions the things that they're saying the things that they've done just don't reek to me of a little friendship circle that were there to make sure that one another was okay i just it's just a real bad vibe and now to say that the on the grander scheme of things nobody's going to say anything either come on i <sighs> I have a horrible suspicion that what's going to happen is it's going to turn out that Kylie did indeed go to this party and perhaps she was in a mess. She's spoken to a few people, probably asked for help, asked for assistance, they pissed her off and she's got in the car and driven on her own. She's driven on her own and she's she's ended up in a body of water. You know, and there's, there's what, around 12 lakes around a 12-mile stretch around where this party was. And we've seen it in the past. We've seen where cars and children, you know, youngsters have ended up in the lakes and, and not found, despite these lakes being searched. You know, a friend of the family years and years ago when I was younger... He, there was a party at my father's work. So he, my father was a boss at a docks, and a guy had driven his his car off into the dock. And the car, even though it sat on the water for a few seconds, that car sank. That car sank. It sank at a rate of knots. He was an able-bodied male who was familiar with the water. They were docksmen and fishermen, and he didn't get out. You know, if a young girl who's been in the influ under the influence of drink, drugs perhaps, who knows, if she's got into difficulty in a car, in a lake, she, I, would, I don't think she'd get out. I genuinely don't think she would get out. And the fact that her car has not been found, again, I said it in a video previously, find the car, find the girl. 
But this, to me, reeks of they went somewhere, they should have stayed together, they didn't, this girl was left to her own devices, and she ended up in a predicament on her own. But these children, they've got to start speaking. How can you allow this to, if you are someone who knows what happened, or you saw her drive off, you knew that she was drunk, you saw her drive off on her own, or something, and you do not say anything, I promise you now, that shit is going to weigh down on your mind for the rest of your life. And if you know something, and you're not saying something, and you don't say something, I damn sure hope it does.